Hey beautiful people, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler. And this is the Daily Twin Flame Read. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we need to know today. I'm feeling really drawn to just dive straight into the Journey of Love cards. Okay, so what message is that? Oh, this card's falling out already. Here we go. Things are things are coming quickly. <laughs> We've got too many cards falling out all at once, so let's just pick some more. Okay, so. We have dream a little. Dreams are the hopes and hopes and dreams sort of dreams today, which is different to the quite significant thought provoking dreams which has been happening for many for the last week or so. But it really feels like I want to refocus your mind on your dream of union, your dream of being together, how your life is going to be. Because I know it's really difficult when you're in this journey and things aren't moving forward quickly enough for you. But um, when you're focusing on what's not happening, when it's not coming, it's like you are almost you're telling the universe that's what you want because that's where your focus is. And you know within your heart that you're going to be in union, that your person is your person. And it feels really important to pay attention to your dreams and your overall goals of where you're gonna be and focus on that today, lift your energies and Stop telling the universe about the lack. Remember where energy goes, where the focus goes. And your focus needs to be on union, not on what's not happening, because then you're creating more of that energy. You're bringing the energy down and blocking the movement forwards. Okay. And I know it's difficult. I know it's frustrating. But it feels really important to give you this message today because... I want to say so many people are in a funk at the moment and that is okay. I do believe that the full moon energy has had a lot to do with this, bringing up a lot of deep rooted old stuff, a lot of fear and rejection issues for many. And so have a look at that as well. Know that that is about the past and it is not a part of your journey now. There needs to be some separation within you about actual reality and what's the past because you're not living in the past anymore you're focusing on your future okay and then we've got the light field okay and your light field your aura needs to shine it needs to sparkle it needs to be magical you need to lift those energies so you're shining your light the brightest it can be it needs to be up there dancing and feeling magnificent. So do what you need to do for you. It feels very much like you need to focus on you, your mindset, and although your twin is a massive part of your future, try not to focus on what they're not doing and their energy at the moment. Focus on lifting your energy because your energy pulls their energy up but when you focus on their lower energies because they're a little bit more stuck, it's pulling your energy down and you need to be up. You need to be shining your light. You need to be that magical, sparkly beacon of light for your twin, but not only for your twin, for yourself. You need to be vibing high and really being in that energy of where miracles happen, not only on your twin journey, but life as a whole, it's time to really get into the energy of where everything comes quickly to you because you're in the energy of belief, 
you know you deserve it. You know you are worthy of it. You don't just think, you know, and there's a big difference. You have to know, you have to believe, and you have to focus on where you're heading and not what's not happening, because then more of that comes, okay? Feels like a bit of a lesson in manifesting today, but it's obviously very important for so many of you on the twin journey, okay? Then we have... I'm sorry about my croakiness. I'm really not very... I just don't feel grand this last 24 hours. Started with a migraine and now I'm just feeling a little bit crappy. Then we've got the ancient ones, okay? And... I want you to know that your journey is so supported by the higher realms, the ancient ones, the archangels, the angels, your loved ones in spirit, other spiritual beings. You have so much support up there because it is meant to happen. Although you feel lonely on this journey, they are supporting you. You don't need other people's approval. They are so much more aware than other earthly beings whom aren't awake yet to realise the intensity, the reasoning behind the twins journey. So you don't need other people's approval. You only need your approval, knowing that everybody up there who is close to you, who wants this to happen, is supporting you, holding your hand, lifting you up and helping you. Because it just, it does not matter what the asleep people think because they are not ready to believe or see in a twin flame journey. Okay. Gone quite deep, hasn't it, this? Okay. And then we've got the devotion to the small card. And that's really very much like you have been planting the seeds. You have been doing the inner work. You have been moving forwards. And things are growing beautifully into your into your dream, into your union, into your overall goals. You are getting there, okay? You're so, so very close. And it's very much... Um, I want to say going to come together all at once. I do believe... I want to go... I want to re-reference... The video from yesterday about signs because I feel like signs have been amping up for many of you as well giving you that shove forward like you are doing the right thing you are on the right path you're getting closer please will you believe this you have done the inner work and it is growing and it is just going to happen so quickly okay and then we've got the eruption of light card and I love this card because that is what's going to happen as you come together. As you your two souls merge again, there is going to be a massive eruption of light because you've got, you're stood in your light, they're stood in their light, and you are strong. You are stood in your light and your power. And this eruption of light is just going to like be, I want to say like the atomic bomb, but obviously not like a bomb going off, but an eruption of light because it's so big, it's so magnificent, it is so magical. So I want to say get ready for that eruption of light <laughs> because it is coming. You're so, so very close. Just keep your focus on where you're needing your focus to be, not on what is not working because you know it's going to work, okay? Right, let's have a look at the universe cards. And I'm hoping when we get tomorrow's videos, I'm not so croaky. I'm sorry, folks. We have energy flows where my intention goes. Well, that couldn't be better confirmation to the reading, could it? Because that's how the reading began. Focus your energy where you're needing it to go, not on the lack. And my vibes speak louder than my words. And we did say get yourself vibing high because that is when you're in the best possible energy. So they are really important cards today for you both, for you all, for you both, for whoever's watching. 
Thank you so very much for joining me, lovelies. I hope you have a fabulous day. Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Namaste. Bye.